Hey squad, welcome back. Now today we're doing our follow-up video on mixing vocals in Logic Pro X and Isotope Nectar 3 Plus. Now in the previous video, we looked at mixing a lead vocal. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at mixing background vocals using the exact same tools. Now, I wanna give a very big thank you once again to Aaliyah Lara for lending her talent and the use of this fantastic demo. And if you guys wanna check out Aaliyah's material, links will be in the description. Anyway, remember, if you're finding value in my content, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. This really helps to push my channel out so more people can benefit from the content. Anyway, it's that time, so let's get into it. Okay, so we are now going to mix the background vocals for this song and the backgrounds are only sort of appearing in the chorus section. So there, there's no backgrounds um, in the verse. So we've got sections like just here, and here and a little bit over here. Well, our focus is really going to be looking at creating a nice mix of the backgrounds and we're going to focus on just the first chorus right here. Now, like I said before, it's really important that you watched the first installment of this two-part series because in that video I talk all about the use of these tools that are installed on this vocal channel strip right here and we're going to be using these as a foundation for the mixing of these backgrounds, okay? So make sure you check that one out. Uh, link will be in the description as well as up top right here. So uh, this is the lead vocal that we mixed earlier. You gotta wake up. They put the wool over your eyes with all of this fake stuff. So we have a great foundation upon which we will build the mix for these backgrounds, okay? We're gonna use the same tools but we're going to make some very slight um, changes um, and I'll explain to you why. Now let me play you back the backgrounds. They haven't been leveled at all. They're just the raw recordings. There's no hope to be found If you just look around So first thing we're going to do is copy this channel strip setting right here and paste it onto all of these um, tracks right here. So what I'm going to do is come here and I'm going to use the key command, command option C. And then I'm going to hit X on the keyboard to go to the mixer. I'll now highlight all of these tracks right here because I want to paste these plugins across all of these tracks right here. And I'm gonna use the key command, command option V. And there we go, pasted really quickly across all five of these tracks. Next thing I wanna do is I don't want to use the vocal rider on the backgrounds. While these are all selected, I'm gonna click just here and click no plugin. And that takes out the vocal rider. I'm also taking out Nectar 3 from here. And I'll, we're going to be using Nectar 3, but not on the individual um, channel strips right here. So we're going to click on that, click no plugin. And the final thing we're going to do is insert a de -esser. We're going to come here and go de -esser stereo. That's going to appear on all five of these tracks. And the last thing I want to do is have the de -esser at the top of the chain above the console. All right, so I'm just gonna grab that and drop that up here. All right, so we've got DSR, console, and compressor. I'm gonna go through and do it for all of these, but let me just do that real quick and we'll move on. Okay, so then now the reason why we've included a DSR on these channel strips right here is because when listening back to the these background vocals, uh, there was a fair bit of sibilant sounds coming through on certain um, of the tracks. And, and that's before we've even added the console EQ or the compressor, which is going to further accentuate some of those tones. So by adding the Diesa plugin ahead of these, we can start to tame some of the sibilant sounds before they actually go any further. Let's solo this vocal right here and play this back. Ground, 
and keep your eyes to the clouds. Right. So it's already working at the DSR on the default preset, but we can fine tune this even more. So let's just pull up this female vocal wide band. Ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time. To Better. Yeah. So let's pull back the max reduction a touch. 7 dB. Ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. Yep. I'm going to give it just a touch more, maybe 7.5. Let's try that. Ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. Much better. So what's happening here is we're softening the S's on this vocal track. Okay. Now it's the same vocalist. She's singing exactly the same parts. So it's very likely that she's going to accentuate the same the S's in pretty much the same way across the board. Again, I like to keep things nice and simple. So all I'll do is just go here, copy that, and then go through on every one of these, the S's and paste. We're just gonna bake the cake once and then just dish it out to all of the different tracks if you follow my analogy, all right? So that's cool. Let's, let's hear those backgrounds again. Gotta keep your feet on the ground. And keep your eyes to the clouds. Okay, much, much better. Okay, next thing we want to do as well, as you can see, is clipping here. We haven't done any leveling whatsoever on these vocals. So what I'm going to do is, once again, come back to the mixer, pressing X on the keyboard to pull up the mixer real quick, highlight all of those, and I'm just going to pull these down to about, say, minus six. Okay, and let's have a quick listen now. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes. Okay, that's a lot better. Let's bring the instrumental back in. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to mess around. Okay, cool. That's sounding better already. Next thing we want to do, once again, we're going to go back to the mixer and we're going to highlight our. Um, background vocal tracks once again. And this time we're going to send all of these to a bus, a group bus. Now I've already created a group bus um, called BV. Um, click there, bus five just here. And on bus five, I've inserted an instance of Nectar three, which I'll now switch on. So what's essentially happening is all of these vocals are going to be processed by a single instance of Nectar 3. Rather than having Nectar on all of these individual tracks, that will do a number of things for us. Firstly, it's gonna reduce the need for additional computer processing. One instance is certainly going to be better than five. And by putting them through a single instance of Nectar, you're gonna be gluing them together and processing them together as one body. Just try to visualize you've got your lead vocalist on stage and then you've got all of your background vocalists in the group acting in a supporting role but all being channeled together and that's the sort of picture I like to build up. Okay so the lead has one instance and the backgrounds are all going through this single instance of Nectar. The other thing I'm going to do is let's go back to the main screen. Hook melody right. Let's pan this um, about 25 to the right and then pan this to the left, about 25, an equal amount. And we're gonna start creating some separation between the different parts. I'm just gonna mute Nectar for now, and let's play that back. Gotta keep your feet on the ground. Okay, and now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna pan this harmony, maybe around 13 to the left, and this harmony about 13 to the right also. Let's play that back. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to mess around because the Lord is coming. Okay, so we're building up a nice picture, a nice stereo spread of these background vocals. Of course, as we continue to mix, we'll continue to refine the positioning of each of these tracks. Final track we've got down here is this high um, melody, which is like an octave above the main melody. Let's play that back. Stop what you're doing now. There's no hope to be found. So a nice trick you can use with something like this. Um, I'm going to keep it dead center 
rather than panning it. But I'm going to use a sample delay on here just to create a stereo image. I'm going to adjust delay time to about 13 milliseconds. Let's try that. Okay, have a listen to actually what's happening. Let's solo that. Bypassed. There's no hope to be found. Back on. If you just look around. So I've automatically created uh, the impression as though this part has been sung twice, as though it's been double tracked. Okay. And that's one of the tricks you can use with a simple plugin, such as a sample delay. Okay. So let's hear that all together. Lord is Stop what you're doing now. Oh, there's no hope to be found. If you just look around, you know the Lord is coming. Yeah, there's one last thing I wanted to address before we go into Nectar, is if we were to play this back one more time, this high melody, I noticed the breathiness of the recording is adding a little bit too much air onto the microphone, which we need to clean up. So have a quick listen. Now this is because the positioning of the vocalist to the microphone and the filtering was probably not ideal on the day. So a quick way to address this is firstly, we go to the console EQ, open that up, and we are going to make sure the low cut filter is switched in, which we've done. And we're gonna increase this until we hear some of, or all of that background noise being removed. Right, that's already a lot better. It's the air being blown onto the microphone. That's what we want to re re remove without affecting the quality and tone of the vocal. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a logic channel EQ as well. And let's have a quick look. Right, so the, what we want to do here is switch in this filter, this low cut filter, and we're going to come up like so. So about, let's try this. So we've removed all of that noise down here, all of the air, the unnecessary, unwanted air being blown onto the mic. We've managed to filter that out and clean things up. Let's get to Nectar. Okay, so far we have created the foundation for these background vocals to be mixed. We've done some leveling, we've done some panning, and we've done some cleaning up. And we've prepared them for this final stage, which is giving that nectar polish and enhancement to the overall background vocal sound that will support what's going on with the lead and blend in with the instrumental. Now, when we used nectar before, on the lead vocal, we used the vocal assistant. However, we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna look at the presets that come with Nectar. So if we click here, we'll see we've got some categories right here. And what you wanna do is go to music and you'll have all of these different preset options which you can experiment with. I'm not gonna go through these right now because there's just too many, but I'm just gonna stick with one that is a great starting point for me and it is the clean R&B. So if I click that and we go here, we'll see again in terms of modules, we've got the pitch correction module. Now, although this is switched on, it's not actually having much of an effect on the vocals. The processing really starts from around here. The EQ one, the compressor one, a deesser, saturation. These are the main things that are actually employed. So let's have a listen to what these are doing. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to mess around cause the Lord is coming. Stop what you're doing now or oh, there's no hope to be found. If you just look around, you know the Lord is coming. You gotta wait. Okay, cool. So what I want to do, I just want to add a bit more brightness to, to this. So I'm just going to push this up a bit, like this high shelf. Just a little bit more air 
starting a bit earlier as well. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to mess around because the Lord is coming. I'm quite happy with the way the compressor is working. It's sort of evening things out in a very transparent way. You're not really hearing it working. So that's a good thing. There's a de on here as well, just to pick up those additional sibilant sounds. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. Yeah, once again, it's easing and taming those S's. So let's see what the saturation plugin is doing. Keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. Yeah, that's all right. Again, you want it to be as transparent as possible. Now I'm going to add a reverb unit. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to mess around because the Lord is coming. Stop what you're doing now. There's no hope to be found If you just look around You know the Lord is coming You gotta wake up Another EQ Let's bring that EQ about here And this time I'm just gonna add a touch more High frequency push around here Let's have a listen Gotta keep your feet on the ground And keep your eyes to the clouds no time to mess around Cause the Lord is coming Stop what you're doing now Well there's no hope to be found If you just look around You know the Gotta keep your feet on the ground And keep your eyes to the clouds No time to mess around Cause the Lord is coming what you're doing now well, there's no hope to be found if you just look around yeah so i'm adjusting the de threshold to capture some more of those s's again without troubling the main tone of the uh, combined vocal okay so i think that's sounding pretty good right there further refinement can be done but this is the general picture this is the general method of actually getting there by making sure the vocal tracks are properly prepared first before you send them across to nectar and then using the simple modules the presets or the vocal assistant if you want to come up with some answers very quickly for you and then you tweak you adjust, you polish, and you're done. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to mess around because the Lord is coming. Stop what you're doing now. Well, there's no hope to be found. If you just look around, you know the Lord is coming. You got away. Put the wool over your eyes with all of this fake stuff You let illusions and lies pass you by But don't you have questions about them? Well, I know someone with answers Like you can't see with